Judging by today's video title, someone could argue that my goal is to victimize men. That couldn't be further from the truth. As much as I despise women who want the best man but can't offer anything good, I encourage you guys to keep improving yourselves. Why? Because that's how you'll make your life a worthwhile experience. If you are a MGTO, self-improvement should be one of your main purposes, and of course, you should not do that to eventually attract hot chicks. Should they show interest, that's fine and of course you have the right to say no because you might be so comfortable in your bachelor's lifestyle that you don't want to invite anyone into your life. MGTO is not a philosophy meant to oppress men and tell them that they're not man enough if they don't do certain things. As they always say, men join the community for various reasons and help each other in different ways. This inspired me to help you specifically with the crazy dating standards that are making men exit the dating scene. Stay tuned because you'll turn these apparent disadvantages to your benefit. But before we go deeper, let me share the comment of the day. Shout out to Noob Saibot. He said, Women say they don't need men because they don't want you to realize the opposite is true. Men survive just fine on their own without any assistance. It is only a matter of time till someone figures out how to have children without them. Well said and you're absolutely right. They don't need men until they call the police officer for help. They don't need men until they're having surgery performed on them by the male surgeon. They don't need men until they realize that the fabric of society was built mostly by hardworking men. Please, Noob Saibot, don't forget to reach out to us by email to claim your $5. As usual guys, I will pick one comment from each video. It may be the funniest, the most liked, or one that touched me, so don't forget to leave a comment and you may be our next winner. Now, back to the video. Embrace your masculinity. You all know the new triple six, I'm not meaning the devil of course, but rather a six pack, a six figure income, and a six feet height, which seem to be the bare minimum dating standards most modern women have. Even though this is more of an American thing, women in the west are increasingly getting more picky because they have their own income, place, car, and in several cases, a whole lot of things they don't really need such as expensive bags. Remember that women consume more than men in the economy, but that's another story. Anyway, not only are these standards crazy, but you must also keep in mind the double standards that are making men give up on dating. Average looking, short, not so well financially men are having a hard time in finding a woman to connect with. For these men, going on dating apps is just a nightmare because they barely get any matches, and when they do, things don't seem to work. Again, I'm not meaning that these guys should just victimize themselves and cry about it. Every difficulty can be taken as an opportunity for growth. After a few minutes online, you will come across hundreds of MGTO stories of men who got their hearts broken, but thanks to this philosophy, they're happier than ever. In multiple cases, these men increase their own value so much that they involuntarily take revenge on the girls that dumped or replaced them. I mean voluntarily because these men are so joyful that they've got no time to think about traitors. Although it's sad, this is the reality. Once your life looks like a party, everyone, including many people who mocked you or even replaced you, wants to take part. This is the moment when you will easily realize how much you have evolved and your standards will be so strong that you'll hardly accept any disloyal woman or backstabbing man into your life. It's become so normal for men to take the first step and approach women first to engage in conversation. It's freaking obvious that women get approached by men more than men get approached by women. That's indeed a very natural thing to happen. However, this trend has slightly changed in recent years, and because I know it's shocking, let me explain myself. Some women out there are bold enough to come at a man they like to say what's on their mind. Go on a dating app and you'll see this even more clearly, namely women saying that they want some quick action. Not all women are like this, but now that women's sexual desire is not stigmatized anymore, 
or at least in their eyes, many women are taking advantage to say whatever they want without feeling bad about it. Plus, women tend to have lots of options, so it's kind of logical that they're extremely selective. So far, so good. However, these dating standards are so unrealistic that they're getting disappointed. Not every single man has a dozen engineering degrees and is a playboy like Tony Stark. In fact, many men out there are high value but haven't reached their prime yet because of their financial situation, just to name an example. Other men need to train harder to get a six-pack or a stunning body. In contrast, even average-looking women get lots of attention. Let's go even further, as long as a woman is plain even with a very disgusting personality, she will get more dating prospects than even a man working on his purpose. As Rich Cooper says, a woman is concerned about a man's future, whereas a man is concerned about a woman's past. This proves once again how simple men are in reality. What do I mean by simple? Not anything negative, but rather that men just ask for traits like loyalty, low body count, and supportiveness. However, no woman out there seems to be willing to be that kind of person. They're too busy building their social media or dating profiles, working jobs they hate to beat the patriarchy, and going on feminist rallies to ask for rights they already enjoy. You know that while men are very logical, women are dreamy. Men tend to be more down to earth, but women tend to have their heads in their clouds. Of course, there are exceptions to the rule. In other words, many men fantasize about a chick they've just met or slept with, so they get one nightis, and many women just don't want to wait for a man to evolve. But just wait to pick the winner once the game is over. All in all, men are having a hard time. Back in the day, there was no Instagram, so the competition was limited to a city or village. Nowadays, the dating marketplace has gotten globalized. Women are getting so many options, and men are becoming invisible. And what are the consequences for men? Well, most of them think that dating is not worth it, and prefer focusing on their careers rather than chasing women. That's what MGTO defends, and that many success stories prove it. If you haven't considered this philosophy yet, I encourage you to go through my videos to get the gist of it and finally transform your life without needing any women. As always, I wish you tremendous success. Now it's your turn. What do you think? Have you ever heard of these insights? What other reasons would you add to the list? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Remember that if you leave the best comment, you will get 5 bucks. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video useful, hit the like and subscribe buttons, ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads, drop a comment, and share it. See you in the next video. Till next time.